It's a mushroom with just like a spear and a shield. That's pretty funny. Okay, it's starting to shoot out lasers. Oh, a lot better looking. Hey, yo, everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are continuing our underrated mod series slash hidden gems. Let's get to it. Let's hop on the mod browser and let us scroll down a couple of months. I don't know how far we should go back. I'm definitely not going back three years ago. I think it's good to stay in this. Uh, let's do four month because we did like one slash two months last time. Let's do the four month area and let's see what's popping. As you can see, T Mod Loader allows any person to just spam random stuff in here. For example, we got the yeah mod. Uh, we got spawn times nine, eight, seven, six, two, hundred, ninety, eighty, seventy, sixty, fifty, forty, thirty-five, twenty-five, thirty-five. 30, 30. As you can see, they just they don't care at all. But let us see here. So there is a fairly specific formula i'm looking for i'm looking for content usually a boss and usually some other stuff in there oh here we go azure skies azure skies is a mod focused around expanding on parts of the game that feel a bit empty that's that's like 90 percent of terraria mods currently adds in content to the pre hard mode sky and snow biomes along various other miscellaneous items let's check it out i don't need to read anymore massive credit to the juice mod and amulet of many minions both their source code helped me learn a lot of the more complicated stuff hey shout out juice and shout out the people who made amulet of many minions i know dire wolf was one of them i'm pretty sure so let's start with this one all right we are in the world with the azure skies mod boom okay not too much content but it did say that it's only focusing on a couple areas so let's check it out here i guess let's start with the armor sets we got a handful of armor sets sludge aquamarine robes i'm guessing aquamarine maybe that's a new uh little gem they added in we got azurite set we got the mycelial and of course the sludge one i just said the sludge looks cool gives us increased jump and fall speed i could fly so it doesn't really matter uh we got the mycelial stuff which i'm assuming is just like our early game mushroom set now this set looks cool i like the mushroom sets always reminds me of the thorium one and then we got the azurite stuff also looks very cool looks like it's made out of sky plate or whatever the hell that block is up there uh in terms of terrain generation i don't see too much in the skies i thought it was gonna add like new terrain or something or new skylands i don't see anything uh there potentially might be new loot in here but i have no idea it doesn't look like it, at least not with our rng but yeah anyways let's check out the other stuff we got shroom sprinters allows the work to perform a weak dash in any direction pretty cool dashing i do love dashing uh we got sky red sprinters so they got their own like boot set here they got a sun in a bottle summons a small burning star to fight for you is this a, another equipable summon and we're starting to see these a lot let me see it in action here does it actually fight for us it does actually fight for us we got some accessories bipolar pendant some is a burning star and frozen crescent okay we're, we're starting to get really a lot of uh equipable summons this one uh, oh there you go well i don't see like the crescent where's the crescent at i see the star I, I don't see the crescent maybe it's only at night i don't know but the accessories are pretty cool from what i've seen so far summon damage done will have a chance to heal the player with the lowest health that's really cool let us check out some of the weapons though we got the azamite staff let me see this baby in action okay we got a little slime with the wings i like it i like the sprite let's see it be some ass yes sir and then let us see the other weapons here arcade cane so this is a mage staff cast a fossil that breaks into smaller amber shards very cool looks like i'm shooting corn around oh and it follows your cursor too which is cool oh we got the detonator flare shots from this flare gun will explode cool i feel like we don't really need to see that oh fungal flask it's like a weaker version of the other flask, the toxic flask. I actually like flask weapons. They're cool. You know what mod had flask weapons? The Tremor mod. That mod was not cool. But this is cool. I like this weapon. We got fungal javelins, of course. Meteor. What the hell is this? This is really cool. Meteor hammer. That's what it's called. This does not look like a hammer. We got the marrow mallet. Very cool. But yeah, so far it does seem like all the weapons are really, really unique. Uh, this one is really cool too. This tortured captured soul or tortured crystal. Very cool. Let us check out if the mod adds in any enemies though. Here we go. We got some enemies. We got fungal mercenary. Look at this little ass dude. <laughs> he really is a, it's a mushroom with just like a spear and a shield. That's pretty funny. We got scruffy flinks. I, I don't know what the difference is. He looks like a regular flinks. We got sick flinks. I'm gonna stay away from him. I don't know if he got his vaccine yet. We got sludge slimes, spike sickle. 
Sweet flinks. This looks like the uh, the flinks that you get as a summon in 1.4, at least the color. You got more fungal guys here. Empyrean Wisp, Azurite Slime, Azurite Harpy, and a lot of other Azurite stuff. I wonder what this is. Scolge. Dude, this thing looks huge. This looks like a mini boss. You kill him, he drops some goodies. Look at that. Strange Shocker. He drops a Shocker. That's cool. So I don't know if there's like a sludge by him or what. Can you guys stop throwing stuff at me? I don't know if there's a sludge by him or what. I'm assuming there is. If there's like a bunch of sludge in enemies i have no idea where sludge would be though honestly but yeah other than that the mod is pretty cool it's a very small content mod so there's not too much content in it but at the same time sprites are looking good the enemies are cool uh i didn't even spawn this thing in meteor drifter cool they added another meteor enemy but yeah i give this mod a thumbs up it's definitely a cool one all right i had to search a little bit here at least for one that i thought was interesting and we have the teeth mod just kidding cacti and more too it adds in cacti content i could always get behind cactus stuff i love cactus stuff and it adds in bosses and town npcs let's see that in action we will change the recipe up for some videos like we'll try and find like maybe like mods that add in classes or mods that add in like cool accessories and stuff but for these earlier episodes i think i want to find content mods that you know add in a good bit of content that you can add to a playthrough uh, in terms of, like bosses weapons stuff like that but we will change the formula up for episodes in the future all right we are in game here with the cacti mod let's check it out of course starting with just like the overall sprites and they look fine to me they look fine they look hopefully not copied from somewhere else i heard that last video you know there might have been some sprites stolen but i won't say anything about it as you can see though we got thrower emblems artificer emblem hold up we got a new class here you know i like the new classes hold up was that a creeper I'm getting snuck up on by creepers. All right, this mod has in creepers. Ancient glue. Mysterious glue with magical properties. It could be used for something. I don't know what the hell people are using ancient glue for. But let us put on this cactus stuff. Or I guess chitin stuff. We got a throwing set here. Made out of ant lines, I'm assuming. Set bonus for throwing. Cool. I could always get behind throwing stuff since it kind of just, you know, is dead now. Uh, we got a bunch of cactus stuff here. We got a headband. I'm assuming these all go on a head. Yeah, look at that. So they're just all helmets for the... The cactus armor which is really cool i like that cactus shades i don't know about wearing shades but you know whatever got a tiara nice and he got a hat nice these all sound like they would hurt to wear uh which one is the artificial one the shades okay <laughs> So I'm wondering if we were to wear a full cactus set, do we get a new set bonus or is it the same? I don't know. I don't I don't see anything here. I don't even see a set bonus. Okay, interesting. Maybe I did something wrong. But yeah, let's check out the other sets here. We got enchanted stuff. Sure, why not? Uh, That looks cool. Is there a set bonus? I'm not seeing a set bonus for a bunch of these. I don't know about that. Set bonus is a big thing in armor that like usually can completely change how you feel about an armor set or how useful an armor set is. Oh, here we go. We got a set bonus. Damn damn three max centuries i could get behind this it looks cool the eye is a little scary the fact that my eye is peeking out but i can still get behind it my channel icons are mushroom like come on we got this neverite stuff not netherite neverite and it looks really cool let's put it on uh they got a bunch of different helmets oh my god i look terrifying <laughs> i can get behind this though it looks terrifying but i can get behind it and then there's like a bunch of tiki mask very very cool i'm assuming you can put these all on oh i love just tiki stuff tiki stuff voodoo stuff like i can always get behind stuff like that there's snow stuff there's stone stuff there's a bunch of like molten vile bloodshot shades you know for crimson and corruption armor very cool we got a cactus grappling hook let's see it in action here look at that it's really fast very nice i can always get behind fast grappling hooks you know they help you get out of a situation quicker but i guess it is now time to check out the weapons here of course hopefully i get my hands on the right weapons hold up so what is the art of the artificer uh, hopefully i'm saying that correctly i have no idea artificer artificer i have no idea how this class works what the hell is it coming back what the heck that thing like homed in on something are they all like that is it just like a throwing class i don't know you can stack up to three of these cool <laughs> it seems so far like a throwing class look at that it's even got thorium stuff if you have thorium installed it's very nice but uh i guess that's what the class is is a throwing subclass wait no look what the heck what in the hell maybe it's like a sentry class and it has summons or a subclass with it to help you out uh, i don't know i'm kind of confused so far like look summons a meteorite hive so it is a sentry class but 
you got like the weapons on the side just in case which is cool i like that it's kind of like how the summoner has whips so let us check out the other weapons here we got a harpy harp very nice i don't know why nobody's thought of this before we got some staffs who doesn't love terraria staffs they usually always do the same thing we got a snatcher on a stick now that's a cool idea right there we got a tumbling weed and it's a yo-yo also good idea i like that i would love if this thing wasn't like exploding in my ears or a way that i could like put it i'm gonna put it really far away over here how about that what else do we got we got the sting of the jellyfish let me sting something oh i like this they got a lot of unique weapons i'm liking most of them uh they got a bunch of throwing weapons here of course you know what throwing weapons do you throw them they hit something boom throwing class you got advanced kakateke plated star shooting full auto bullet spear mark ii amazing but yeah, other than that, I like the weapons. The weapons are all really cool. Let us go ahead and check out the enemies here, starting with the creeper. Look at this guy. This dude was trying to sneak up on me. Well, he did. Luckily, I was in god mode, but look at him. Uh, after that, we got an infested slime. Very cool. It's a mushroom slime. We got a cactus, of course. You kill the cactus, it drops cactus. Nice. Uh, I have no idea which one of these are bosses. Okay, actually, I feel like I can decipher which ones are. We got a mycelian predator. Very cool. I'm always down for mushroom enemies. Come on. Uh, uh, we got tiki enemies which i'm assuming go with this boss there's a giant hand called the tenebris interesting uh we got the goblin assassin oh my god this dude throws knives quick as hell get this thing get that thing oh my god this dude he's, he's pretty good with the knives uh we got the moonshiner these npcs all look really cool kind of upset that i haven't included these guys in like uh npc olympics but i didn't know they existed we got the pumpkin trader also looks extremely cool got a lot of halloween items nice uh we got the skeleton artificer artificer however the hell you pronounce that his name is sans haha <laughs> hilarious all of these dudes look cool as hell oh they killed a creeper good job guys but yeah i guess it's time to check out the bosses the first First boss here is the Grand Tiki Spirit. Let's head to the jungle. Now, the only mod I've ever fought a Tiki boss from is Tremor. And I'm not gonna lie, the Tremor Tiki boss is an interesting concept. It's just like a giant Tiki and it spawns in a bunch of enemies, which kind of makes sense, you know? Let's see this one in action here. The Grand Tiki Spirit. It's a smaller Tiki. That's that's about it. It's a smaller Tiki. I'm assuming it just spawns in Tiki enemies over time. Let's go ahead and do some damage, see if it does anything else. It didn't really look like it did anything else. That's fine. You do get a mass. So I'm assuming you get a random mass and then you get the ancient glue what does the ancient glue do it makes more mass okay i like it it's cool i kind of wish the boss is a little bit bigger and then the next boss the crystalline crusher let's go ahead we're gonna turn on the brightness here because i did notice that there's an actual biome in this mod look at this don't know if it just spawns randomly or what but look at this it's like a giant crystal biome and i guess what boss you fight here the crystalline crusher oh it's a worm boss Looks like a really, really fast worm boss. This dude's keeping up with me. This biome pretty much gives you like an arena to fight in because it's like so open. So you don't really have to worry too much about clearing out an area. I don't know. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do some damage to it, of course. Okay, it's starting to shoot out lasers. Very interesting. Let me do some more damage. It shoots out more lasers. Those would not seem like too fun to dodge. And let's go ahead and kill it. So there you go. You kill it. You get the staff of the crystal tsunami cool and then there's also this thing i don't know if this is implemented or not because i'm pretty sure the mod said two bosses but look tenebris dude are you seriously fighting an unfinished boss yeah it is an unfinished boss okay it's a big hand this might be the scariest boss i've ever gone against other than that though this mod thumbs up another great mod here we've seen nothing but good mods so far not anything like crazy out of the ordinary above our expectations but every mod we've seen in this whole entire series it, they've been good plain and simple the next mod we're gonna check out here is the dimensional rift mod says it adds in some items and some bosses and a mini boss let's check it out all right we are here with the next mod let us go ahead and check out the items here not too many to work with let's start with the armor the armor looks cool though the horned knight armor i like the colors of this armor it looks really cool you can still see my character's face too which is always cool so i can get behind this what else do we got here we honestly don't have too much soul of the constructor 50 defense life regen increase 500 more health this is an expert item 
<laughs> that might be a little strong of an expert item. Uh, we got a golden crown. Spelunker effect attributed, but 50 minus health and 10 minus defense. Interesting. Uh, we got true platinum sword. Let me see this thing in action. What the hell? Oh my god, it like shoots out. Uh, we got sun knife. Let's see these sun knives. Do they do anything cool? They're just really strong throwing knives is what it looks like. Uh, we got the true golden bow. What does that mean? Okay. Looks like it has a chance to shoot an extra arrow every now and then. We got a grant gun. Don't know what that means, but it's a really fast gun. Okay. So far, I haven't really seen anything I like that's unique or sticks out on its own. Hopefully, maybe these next ones will. We got mini library staff. 260 summon damage. Some is a mini universal library that fight and heal for you. More there are enemies, more this mini shoots projectiles. Warning, don't use it in a worm boss. Oh my god. That just makes me want to use it on worm boss. All right. So if we spawn in a bunch of slimes here, so it shoots out depending on how many enemies there are. Interesting. Okay. It looks kind of cool too. I'm not going to lie. Uh, we got this unstable magic. Need the six potion to use this. Is that this potion? Okay. I will get the six potion. Let me see it in action. Whoa. Okay. That's pretty cool. That's unique. That definitely stands out. But other than that, I think a majority of this other stuff is probably nothing crazy. Just another really fast gun. Makes a cool noise. I like that noise. Green blade. Wow. <laughs> But let us see the bosses in action here, because I believe that's the main thing about this mod is the bosses. We got a good bit of them, it looks like. I think. I don't know. Some of these might not be bosses. Let's start with this one. The Unknown Old Knight. So this is a mini boss. So let me just like blast him. What is this attack he's doing? Let me blast that boy with that. There you go. Got his ass. Okay, not bad. There's some tests. See, like a lot of these things, I have no idea what are what are what. Oh, so the unknown knight we just fought was the old one. This is the new one. Oh, a lot better looking. Uh, but I still won't lie. A lot of these sprites are not the greatest. Some of them are okay, but some of them could be worked on. But look at this. Blast this guy. Get him out of here. How much health does he have? I don't even think he's taking damage. Is he taking damage? Okay, it looks like he's not taking damage. I don't know if I'm just in the wrong biome or what. I don't think there's any biomes for this mod. At least, like, I can't really tell if there is or not. What I can tell you is this is some very interesting dungeon generation here. Let's see the other stuff. We got the Guardian of the Underworld. I don't know. Summon the head. Holy. So it's a giant worm boss. Who would have thought? A worm boss in Terraria. The sprite for this thing is actually not the worst. This thing just keeps on unraveling. All right, let's 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 do what the mod said not to do. Okay, not bad. I mean, it did exactly uh, what I thought we'd do, and that is kill the boss really fast, but it didn't crash my game, at least. And then there's, like, a bunch of other stuff. I have no idea what this other stuff is. I know this is an NPC, the librarian. Very interesting. And then there's, like, Anomaly. Okay, so that's just an enemy. There's IPC Boo 89 the butterfly. Very interesting. I can't kill it. It won't let me kill it. It's, like, health is, like, stuck there. Maybe I have to kill the anomalies. Whoa, what is it doing? It's like teleporting everywhere. What's happening? All right, I killed it. I was able to grab onto it and kill it. What else do we got? We got beep boop core. Wow, look at that. <laughs> we got test one. Okay, maybe a couple of these things aren't supposed to be spawned in. Biome machine. Interesting. Oh, and that spawns in the butterfly? That's cool. Look at this, how it's like changing the biomes and stuff. What the heck? Maybe that's why it's called the biome machine. But yeah, I think we've seen enough of this mod. We can go ahead and head back to uh, the other mods and, you know, give my verdict. Give my ratings on these mods. So here are our three mods, and I'm going to give them their ratings. The Azure Skies one, I'm going to give a four out of five. Very nice little addition mod, content mod. I uh, wish it did add a little bit more, though. But other than that, you know, it is pretty good. The Cacti and More mod. I actually really like the Cacti and More mod, but I'm also give it a four out of five because it didn't exceed any expectations. It didn't do anything crazy, but I do always enjoy a new class, especially when they add a new class and add a subclass to it, too. Like, that's always a good thing. And the last one, Dimensional Rift. If I'm going to be 100% honest, I have no idea what was going on in that mod. There was very little amount of content. The sprites were kind of eh. I'll give it a 2 out of 5. It wasn't the greatest. Might be our lowest rating yet, but it still wasn't that bad, honestly. I've definitely seen a lot worse mods. There's literally probably 500 other mods on this mod browser, all side by side, that are worse than this mod. And the mod isn't even that bad. It's just like there's a whole lot of chaos going on. I don't know what's going on. Some of the items are kind of like broken. Why did the librarian have like 6 million health? Why did that weapon instantly? to kill the boss. <laughs> 
it's like i don't know what the heck is going on but other than that i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all in the next one maybe the next one we'll do like accessories or classes specifically i don't know we'll see